Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna see how even you can fix the problem of iPhone stuck on widescreen. So without further ado, let's hold the video. Just like me, even if your iPhone is stuck on widescreen and you want to fix it easily and quickly, then you should make use of IO System Recovery Software by TunesKit, who are quite a known name for making user-friendly softwares that provide effective solutions to the problems related to iPhones, iPods and iPads. And talking about the software itself, the IO System Recovery Software is a professional tool that has been built to fix various software-related issues easily and quickly. The software is available for both Windows and Mac and the link to the software is in the description down below so don't forget to check that out. Once you install and run the software, that's how the homepage will look like with 4 super useful tabs shining bright. But before we begin with fixing the problem, first off, we need to connect the iPhone to the PC so that the software learns about the device. Once connected, using the software itself you can set the connected device in DFU mode. Once done, you need to tap on the first tab to fix any sort of software related problem. On the next page, you need to select the specific problem that you are facing from the list of categories that have been mentioned. Like for this video, I'll select the screen stuck category. Just after you are done with selecting the problem category, click on start. On the next page, you get to see our two options that basically are the repair modes which are being provided to you and you can use any one of them according to your iOS system problem. In this video, we'll use the standard repair mode to fix the problem. Since the iDevice has already been connected to the PC and has entered DFU mode, the software will provide you with the firmware package that is needed to fix the problem. Once the firmware has been downloaded and verified, tap on Start Standard Repair to begin the process of unzipping the firmware package and even to initiate the process of repair. And just after the process of repair is completed, the connected device will restart. And that's it. So with that being said, here's Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.